Okay, so let's start with your first card. You have temperance in reverse, which tells me that you're in balance. Um, something could have been too hasty or the exact opposite. You know, you're having some stagnation. And I think this is with your emotions, okay? Because the water is going between. Normally, it's just keeping your balance with emotions. Here, you're not having it right now. To clarify that, I got the strength of right. And your strength is that you're usually a little bit more balanced, but you're not now. And you want to be this strong person. Um, what you're, what you're going to do or what you need to do is to step up to the situation when other people would quit. You know, this is saying don't give up. Okay, be like a Leo and don't give up. Um, it could be if this is a love relationship with this eight here. Um, you need more balance. And here <clears throat> we have imbalance, obviously. But this says that this partner who's taming the lion, this partner in your relationship is, is more powerful in the relationship. There's some kind of um, like an imbalance of power. Or you could just be overwhelmed by somebody you've been in a relationship with or some event that's happened. Like the event may be stronger than you and you need to uh, step up. Um, it could be your imbalance because you're not with this person anymore and they were like your rock. They were your strength and you're trying to figure out what to do without them. But it says challenge yourself so you can master the circumstance. Okay. Uh, further clarifying that with the romance card, we got love yourself in reverse. So it seems as if you're not loving yourself right now. That could be what the imbalance is from, or it could be you're unbalanced because something else has happened and you just, you're not loving yourself right now. You've got too much going on. So, I mean, it just says here, you'll be more romantically attractive, but I don't think this is necessarily just you want to be romantically attractive. I think this is just saying love yourself, okay, and you're not right now. <clears throat> and that's a way to fix it, as well as stepping up to the plate. Next card is the Eight of Wands in reverse. He has talks about a swift message. It could be an offer of love for some of you out there. This is just something happening swiftly. Um, good news coming in here. We have bad news. Um, or if it is good news, it's just taking its sweet time to get to you. Okay. Um, but I really think this is some kind of bad news. Um <clears throat> And it seems as if you're already just having a hard time and it's because of the bad news or you're going to get more bad news. Um, yeah, that's what I see. And it's something you're passionate about because we have a lot of wands here. An eight talks about cycles, if you think about that. Temperance is talking about the stagnation of a cycle. And here we have the cycle needs to be continued, okay? That is not happening right now. And then eight talks about cycles, and here it's in reverse, so there's a stagnation of a cycle. Something's not over yet, or it is over, and you're not able to move on from it. Clarify that. We got judgment upright. So this is like a decision has been made. You know, you maybe you want something to be resurrected, but it's it's just dead right now. Or it could be that somebody actually like had their judgment day. They've um the bad news is somebody maybe passed away. Or it could just be as a relationship for some people that the decision's been made. You guys aren't together. It's bad news. Okay. And the thing is, with the Romance Angel Oracle card, you have romantic feelings for this person. But you're not able to be with them. Okay. This is like final decision. Like there's nothing after Judgment Day. I mean, once that decision's made, it's final. That's why I think of death because... Death is final. Um, I mean, I believe in an afterlife, obviously, um, as a Christian tarot reader. However, um, like, on Judgment Day, like, there's no backpedaling kind of a thing, okay? <coughs> Sorry. 
All right, so also with judgment, <clears throat> this talks about recovery. You need to recover from some maybe possible romantic feelings that weren't returned and you got bad news about it. Or just recovering from a death, um, possibly of a spouse, but a partner. And see, that was that was in your last reading, too. It could have been a partner, just a separation, or it could have been an actual death separation. Um, this is it's like the final cleansing of a relationship. Okay. And then from this, you're going you're going to be transformed. You're going to be resurrected in a new way. You're going to be like a new person, because this is like a this bad news is just like kind of life altering. Okay. At least it feels that way. And you're going to have more clarity. You're going to recover. You're just going to be rebirthed. Okay. Because, <clears throat> you know, when you die, you know, you're rebirthed. You get a new body, that type of thing. The next card you got was the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which says, you know, downturn of luck. Sorry about it, you know. Um, your wishes aren't really being granted right now. Um, you have to accept a bad situation represented by the Eight of Wands in reverse. And just kind of try to make what you can positive out of it. Because then the more positive it, positivity you can find, the more it's going to turn right back to where you're on top again. Okay. Um, but just like your love life's dark right now, you're trying to get to know yourself now that you had a change. And, you know, judgment says, you know, you're going to be reborn. You're going to get a new self. Because things are out of control. You no longer have your soulmate or you no longer have your partner. And this also says your partner is not going to renew you. So I think that means you don't have a partner. If you do, they're, they're not going to be the one for you. <clears throat> With judgment, this says the change of event that's happening is going to be absolute. It's final. Okay. And we did mention that. So if you've broken up, it's not coming back. If they've died, they're obviously not coming back. So I think this can really talk about death. It's just, it's finite, nothing else. Um, maybe just like stagnation. Like you're not moving on. This is also a cycle as well. So this is a really unlucky time and uh, you're resistant to change. You probably don't want to go on. Like, that's the moving on. You're thinking, if somebody did die, like, how could I possibly go on? It's a saying that you don't want to. But to make the wheel turn back, you're going to need to, you know, for your own, for yourself. You're going to be reborn. You're not going to move on as your current self. You're going to move on as a different person. Okay. Then we got the chariot in reverse, and this is my card, okay? So when I see chariot, I see progress is not being made. There's a defeat that's gone on, whether it's death or just a lost relationship. You feel like you can't make it on your own. You don't want to be free from a relationship. Um, this means long distance love. <laughs> Here, I see like very long distance love. Okay, like, it's so far removed from you that you're not ever going to see them. Um, I think you want somebody to come and save you. And there could be some fear of not being good enough. And it says you need to love yourself. And we got that you're not loving yourself right now. This says you're not loving yourself, but you need to. Because if you love yourself, you will move on. Here we have reconciliation. I thought, what? And I think this isn't talking about a love interest, okay? Because <clears throat> cards can use whatever. This just happens to be a romance deck. Some of you probably want to reconcile, and that's what this is talking about. But I just I don't see it happening. Like, we have finite decisions. Like, it's, it's final. Um... But you see how they're kind of in the clouds here? And what do people think of when they think of heaven? They think, oh, we're going to sit on clouds all day and, you know, play with rainbows. 
Okay. Um, and you notice if you look at her, how she's wearing all white and she's very pale compared to him. Almost like she's dead. I think this is saying, despite all this happened, you're going to be reconciled one day. Like in heaven. Okay. Um, but also, you may be reconciling with yourself. Like you're going to have to come to a decision with yourself. Yeah. Next, you had two cards pop out. You had the Seven of Wands, which tells me you feel like you don't have a leg to stand on. You don't know where you stand. You, I mean, your world's been turned upside down because the Wheel of Fortune and the world are very similar. So it's not just your luck that's bad. It's just like your world's been flipped upside down. It's like a life-changing event. Even if it's just a relationship separation, it's, it's like it's a big deal for you. So here, you know, he has on those different shoes. He just, he doesn't know where he stands. He doesn't have good footing. <clears throat> and you've been battling, you've been struggling, and you want to give up. Um, this has to be per to for persevere. Um... And keep pushing because you're close. Okay, you're close. You're going to make it. And the reason why you want to give up because you've been separated from a union. Okay, I mean, this represents marriage to me, like the union of something. So, you've been separated, possibly by death. Okay. And, uh, you, you mean you really wanted this? You wanted it to continue, and it's gone. It's it's not coming back. Um, I thought I took some notes on the Two of Cups. Let me see real quick, just in case there's something I left out. Well, I don't see anything. But yeah, you're no longer connected to this partner. So to clarify that, oh, wait, wait. To clarify that, we got the Romance Angel, which says wedding in reverse. So you're not getting married. And here, this tells me marriage too. And there, we have two marriage cards in reverse. So you're getting a divorce. And um, some people believe, you know, that the only way to really be separated from a spouse is through death. Um, so I see divorce and death and just a separation in general. Because you may not have even been married. And if you weren't married, you're not going to get married. So... And here, you're struggling just to stay on top of this hill, like, to stay on top of things. Like, if you were on the top of this wheel, it's turned over, and you're struggling to stay on top. Like, here, like, he, he's trying to keep his footing, but he really can't. He's trying to stay on top, and he can't. He's really struggling. And clarifying that, I got the Eight of Cups in reverse. And this, this tells me somebody left, like, suddenly. <clears throat> and you don't feel like going on a quest for love. Like, you're not seeking that right now. That's not even on the cards for you because what you've lost was really dear to you. If it wasn't by death, then somebody kind of left you sneakily. They just left in the middle of the night. Or at least it felt that way. Um, then I got very soon. I was like, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you. But I think the mo main message is the top. That's what most of yours are. The top message is what applies and the bottom isn't. Um, so very soon, something needs to happen. Or something will happen. And we got separation. So if you haven't already separated, this is saying you will. And then you start at the beginning and go this way. But from your last reading, 
it was already saying that you were going to be separated or you had. So you're getting the same reading from February. So some of you still haven't had it yet, and those of you who had, it's continuing. And the only advice I see so far is to love yourself. And that's something positive you can do to turn the wheel of fortune in your direction. You know, step up to the plate. Okay. You want to reconcile, but um, you're not going to, at least not until heaven. So let's pull some advice. Yeah, I do see you're going to be reborn. Okay. Possibly um, having new love, like a reborn part, but I don't, that would be stretching it. And it could be a cancer you lost because cancer's card's in reverse. And again, so it's temperance. Um, and that is oh, Taurus? No, 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 no. Sagittarius. Yeah, not Sagittarius. But I mean, if maybe I said Taurus because some of you did lose a Taurus and it just needed to be said. So if that was you, there you go. What can we get for advice for these Pisceans? Four of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So with Four of Wands, I see a lack of stability. And again, I see the end of a union or the end of a marriage. There's no celebrating going on. That's not advice. All right. Let me see if I took any notes on that. I don't usually pull that card up in reverse, so I don't think I took any. I think I took notes on the four of swords. Okay, and that's not here. I keep notes by my side in case I just draw a blank and nothing's coming, but let's clarify that one. King of Wands upright? Okay. Um King of Wands. So I see somebody's of noble character. We have a lot of fire energy going on over here. And it could be a fire sign you lost. Yeah, if it's a Sagittarius, maybe, yeah, maybe you lost a Sagittarius. I really don't see how Pisceans and Sagittarians go well together. That could be why it's not worked out. But if you actually lost someone to death, I can see that. Yeah, I can see like this angel wings are red and then here we have the fire sign in reverse with the two of cups. And it's, it's a lion, so I mean, it could be Leo, but I think it just represents fire and it, the wings also represent love. But with King of Wands, he's an entrepreneurial spirit. This is like saying, go out there and um, take a leap of faith. You see his hands kind of on his hip, like he's about to get up, you know, saying, don't just sit there. Pretty much move. But also, with the salamanders on his um, robe and down here and up on his throne, again with the lion, we have the fire sign. <clears throat> I see that you're going to be transformed. And it's going to be transformed through the loss of this union. And again, that just clarifies the rebirth we have with the judgment. Can we clarify the seven of wands? Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm pull from the top because I can see the bottom. Okay, two of wands. All right, so two of wands. I see... Um, is that up? Yeah, it's upright. Like you're looking for some results. You want to make your dreams come true. You got to take a scary step. Like you've you've got to move on. You have to go out in the world because the world is still ticking by. Okay, and. Um, 
there may be somebody out there who wants to be with you. And they're respecting you by not getting involved right now because they know something's going on with you. But the red here and the flowers signifies passion and the white signifies innocence. So their passion for you is innocent and they're just waiting for the right time. And also this, as you, this is you trying to decide between moving on or staying stuck. And you see that this wand, the moving on one, is free. And the one that's being stuck is bolted down. Okay. The Magician in Reverse. Yeah, we don't like that one. This says somebody's manipulative. And I, th I don't see that as you unless that's why the relationship ended. You were being manipulative of someone. Basically, you're, it just talks about indecision and being stuck. There's there's no communication. And you're, oh, and yeah, you're living on default. You're just kind of, so much has happened to you, you're living on default. And this says, to fix it, you need to be intentional. Okay, so you're not being manip manipulative. Ooh, you know what I noticed? This is saying, you know, make some moves and whatnot. Again, we have white flowers and red flowers. So there's some passion that's innocent. But see, the red can also be about love. And then the white, these are lilies, can be about death. So it's like a love has died. 